Okay, I was asked to do a well-being and kind of quarantine little assembly video for you all. Uh, a couple of top tips that hopefully might help as we are all stuck in the house with our closest family members and here's me recording it on the stairs because I can't find anywhere to get a spare quiet spot either. So here are my uh, 10 top tips. The first one will be keep a routine. Keep during the week, particularly with school, keep bedtimes and waking up the same. <clears throat> Don't leave it three minutes before tutorial starts. Keep in that routine, get yourself dressed, get yourself showered, get yourself awake and properly. Otherwise, what's going to happen over the next few days is we're just going to kind of slump and we're going to get really sluggish. Keep yourself in that routine to keep yourself awake and alive. Uh, second bit would be this, is if it's possible uh, where you live, find somewhere where you can do schoolwork and that only be the place where schoolwork happens and the other places are uh, places where you can relax, where it's your place for downtime. So a little bit like you're going to school and then you're leaving it. <clears throat> Try and find ways to have some kind of rhythms and spaces which feels as much as we can uh, like normality. Third bit from me would be be gracious. Be gracious to your parents, be gracious to your siblings, be gracious to your dog, be gracious to the teachers because all of us don't want this situation to be happening and we're all stuck in it. So let's be a little bit more tolerant and kind to others who are around us as we're all struggling with the fact that we're all stuck in the position where we're in. The next bit I would suggest is please do keep in contact with friends and family. Contact, you know, the phone that you're probably watching this on has the ability to ring and talk. So talk to friends, talk to family, keep yourself connected as best that you can. Uh, tip five would be when you talk, and I guess the coronavirus will be part of the conversations, please communicate fact, not fear-based fiction. We don't want us winding ourselves up and believing things that are just not true. Six, I want to suggest that you set yourself a challenge over the next few days, that these next few days don't just drift by <clears throat> and you get frustrated and bored. Maybe why don't you set yourself some form of challenge? Oh, for me, for me, I'm going to try to learn Spanish. <laughs> now you know how high the bar is I've set or low the bar that I'll reach. But set yourself a challenge over, the, over these next few days so that there's something stimulating for you to get involved in. Another one I would suggest is do something that releases the pressure because as you're all stuck in the house or in the flat together, pressure is going to build. You're going to need to find some ways to release that. Is there the ability somewhere in the house to do some form of exercise? Running upstairs, <clears throat> running around, getting outside. Uh, you know, YouTube is full of all sorts of videos that you can engage in to do things like yoga or Pilates or keep fit things, anything like that that releases the pressure of feeling stuck and enables you to burn off some energy. Um, particularly for those of you who are doing exams or coming up towards your exams, be kind to yourself right now. Know that you have all the resources that you need right now. Know that you have access to your teachers, you have access to your peers. The only difference is you are not physically in the same space together, but you can connect with each other. Don't allow the fear or the anxiety to run away with you with where you're at. Uh, nine, really key one will be talk it out. Obviously, you can talk it out with your family, with friends, but your tutor is still around for you. Uh, my, me and my role, I'm still around to, to talk. You can get us all through Teams. We can chat through that way, but talk out how you are feeling. Because if you don't talk it out, you will act it out. And when you're stuck in the house altogether, acting it out might not be the most positive way to outwork your frustrations. And the last tip I'll give you this is be really kind to yourself. None of us here <clears throat> have been in this situation before. So be kind to yourself as to how you're emotionally feeling and processing what's going on. You are safe, you're with family, you are in a safer position than maybe you, your mind sometimes wants to believe it's in. So don't let it run away and be kind to yourself during this time. Hope those 10 tips will be helpful. And if we as a school can do anything to help you, then just drop us in, drop an email, drop a Teams message to your tutor or to myself. We'll be happy to help you process as we all do feel quite stuck in our own homes.